So on the third, third webinar today, I'd like to report to you easy and difficult cases achieving mandibular suction with digital, anal digital uh, plus, plus process and analog process. So let's show, let's show you a whole SimCD process from start to finish from now on. Prior to the detailed explanation of these uh, main topics, I'd like to consider the current digital denture technology. So while many patients, many dentists and the dental technicians and the dentists, dent, dentists regard the digital denture as a panacea for all technical challenges, the perfection is still in the details from whole process, from impression, by the registration and the mounting and to set up and the resin polymerization and finally denture delivery. So you are aware that digital denture can change only technical work but not clinical process. This is a pyramid. This is a hierarchy of a complete denture procedure. And uh, the most important requirement to satisfy patients is to obtain and the accurate reproduction of a jaw-to-jaw -jaw relationship. In short, vertical dimension and vertical dimension and the horizontal mandibular jaw position is very important. So, um, yeah. And the impression method, retentive inspiration uh, is in the second place. So unfortunately, um, the, the uh, te technical part is on the third position digital work, digital lab work as well. So I think uh, if, if only if uh, all process, all skills are completely performed, we can leave the beneficial advantage of the digital, 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 digital technology. So let's move on to the main topics, sorry. So this is the intraoral examination seat, and you can see the result of the intraoral examination. So this patient has very happy, uh, so all regions are favorable condition. All regions are favorable, favorable condition, no poor checks. And he had a good ridge form and the sufficient sibling responded tissue, and she has the inadequate space for dental extension in, in the little mild hydrophosphate region. And he has a nice repair shaped rhythm of has, and no tongue retraction, and he has a class one, and, uh, and also no discrepancy between the patient's habitual lower jaw position, and uh, oh, a bit, sorry, sorry, uh, no discrepancy between the patient's habitual mandibular jaw position and operated, operated manipulated mandibular jaw position near the centric. And he doesn't have, he didn't have. No temporal mandibular joint problems. So if you, if you find that case in your daily practice, you will be able to achieve mandibular suction easily. So our teeth are aligned thanks to the beautiful anatomical landmarks. For example, the uh, center incisors are located, positioned at eight millimeter from the uh, middle of incisive papilla and canines are positioned at 11 millimeter from the uh, tip of inside, tip of rugae. And the posterior teeth, uh, lingual cast of the posterior teeth are aligned on the top of the lid vest. In the lower, so posterior teeth are aligned in the middle with lid width, in the middle of ridge width. And of course, pound line is very effective to not to uh, interrupt the tongue movement. So I emphasize that two setup can be done with this adventure technology as well as the conventional, con conventional handcrafted method. So if you find the easy case, you can fabricate or manufacture dentures as produced through digital, digital uh, machining or um, handcraft handcrafted denture, handcrafted method. So I firmly believe that it's a indication for a mandibular suction. As a matter of fact, these dentures are fabricated and issued uh, with only two patients visit. 
thanks to class one uh, job relationship and uh, he has stable mandibular job position and thanks to clear anatomical landmarks but we sometimes encounter uh, difficult patients to achieve mandibular suction i'd like to introduce my patient um, eight, 58 year, year old female and she had class three and as you can see lower teeth lower remaining anterior teeth pushed up the upper ridge so after all of the all of after all of the of her teeth are extracted she became prudential but uh, with flabby tissue upper maxillary flabby tissue so it's a very difficult case because she requested us uh, class one look configuration, uh, even though she had a class three look at present. So this is the outcome of the intraoral exam. exam oh, no, sorry, uh, intraoral examination is the um, most important part of making sure we know where we are going and what we are promising the patients on the patient's initial visit. So let's move on to the intraoral examination for maxilla. Oh, flabby tissue is present from uh, maybe so first premolar, left first, left, left first premolar to light first premolar. Let's move on to the um, intraoral examination for the mandible. This is a guideline of ACP, complete dentalism classification, and as uh, her jaw. Mandibular jaw belonged to in type B, type B. So uh, 60 millimeter, 16, 16 millimeter uh, of the diameter of the lower jaw, alveolar jaw. This is a referencing, different, this is a reference uh, with uh, sufficient sublingual spondy tissue. So take a look at, please focus on the uh, sublingual spondy tissue that is located behind the anterior ridge. And when the patient, uh, patient close, them, close her mouth, the sublingual spondy tissue swells up behind the anterior ridge. So it's diagnosed as uh, uh, easy to achieve mandibular suction thanks to sufficient amount of sub sublingual spondy tissue. So let's go back to my patient. Ask the patient to close and open, but I couldn't observe the subling, sufficient sublingual spondy tissue. Sublingual tissue didn't swell up behind the anterior ridge. So uh, this is a lack of sublingual spondy tissue. Next, we needed to check uh, there is a sufficient uh, space where the uh, lingual denture border extended over the mile of Howard line. You can see there's lots of sufficient space so put the check in the good column. Let's move on to the check for lithomolar pad lesion. Uh, this is the distal point of the lithomolar pad and the major point of the lithomolar pad. And now I pushed the lithomolar anterior part of the lithomolar pad with borrow instrument, then it branches. So because uh, uh, the fibrous tissue is present at the anterior half of the retinal pad. Next, ask the patient to close her mouth slowly. Then you can see only posterior flabby tissue is deformed. So, uh, I, so this, <clears throat> this condition is diagnosed as a, a, a small amount of changes in the shape of the retinal pad from the mouth opening closing movement. Put the check in the good column. Okay, let's move on to the check for a temporal mandibular joint condition. Place your finger uh, at 13 millimeter from the ear canal, and the patient ask the patient to open and close. She had a slight deviation to the lateral movement, but uh, she doesn't ha didn't have 
and no clicking sound and no click cryptation. So uh, this small amount of uh, uh, deviation, uh, lateral deviation doesn't affect, uh, won't, doesn't affect the search effectiveness. This is a result of the interval examination. So there are um, one, two, three, four, four poor checks. And uh, she had a lack of sublingual responded tissue here. And uh, class three. So tongue position in class three is very careful uh, because the uh, tongue position in class three is lower back position, lower back position. So uh, lingual denture border, sublingual denture border easily exposed. And uh, she had a flabby tissue. So to prevent the mandibular denture from lifting, from lifting uh, caused by the uh, caused by the lack of sublingual responded tissue, the optional sublingual sealing technique is mandatory. And the patient has maxillary flabby tissue, so optional flabby impression technique is required. Let's move on to the clinical performance. So first, I'd like to show you how to take a preliminary impression for the maxilla. So this is a thermoplastic heat mode about tray to adjust, adjust easily and modify easily uh, to match the patient's mouth. It's an accident system. Two to millimeter oversize tray is much better than the patient. So light body impression material is squirted from the hamula notch to the front, just to the right side. Overlap the midpoint to reduce the air bubbles at the meeting area. And the light body impression material is applied behind the uh, flabby tissue and the bolt. Tray molded with a heavy body impression material is pressed and apply pressure upward. Of course, I wipe off the excessive impression materials to prevent the gag reflex. Okay, finally, pinch the upper lips, upper, upper lip, then impression material going up to the bottom of the sulcus. So, um, there, so how beautiful it is. And uh, beautiful impression motivates the dental technician. It's a very important work for us. So when fabricating uh, SMCD custom tray, the primary modeled models are created based on the uh, frame cutback tray impression. And the tray design is always uniform, uh, regardless of whether it's an uh, unfavorable or favorable rigid condition. And several measures must, must be uh, provided to the custom tray to enhance the suction effectiveness. And occlusal plane is most important to make even pressure when taking impression. So everyone will be able to achieve mandibular denture suction by using custom tray to be fulfilled above requirements. So let's, let's observe the variation of the retinal pad region. Retinal pads are plump, uh, stretched out and uh, flattened in its open mouth and shortened in and the shortened and the prompt in its short uh, in its closed mouth. So the target shape of the little pad pad uh, uh, we want in preliminary impression and the precision impression stages we want uh, should be a natural form of the little pad at the listing position of the mandible. Closed mouth impression is very important for us. Uh, if the patient uh, mouse is very small, the tray, frame cutback tray should be trimmed off or cut it off. Uh, if the patient uh, with a shallow labial vestibule, anterior part should be cut it off. So, 
First, light bodied impression material is squirted from the uh, linear lithium pad region and the two, uh, to the opposite side and come up to the front and go back to the starting position. If you find the space here, but please cover that space with the impression material. And the frame cutback tray molded with a heavy body impression material is inserted into the mouse and press it down, straight down, be sure not to load it down and ask the patient to stick out the tongue only one time and please wait for seven seconds until the tongue rests. And change your finger position, but be sure not to load the tray down posterior. Straight down, always straight down. And ask the patient to uh, hold the handle with her lips. And finally, massage. This motion uh, prevent, the, uh, prevent the building up of the impression materials within the cheeks. cheeks. So uh, anyway, be sure uh, to apply pressure. Pressure, uh, push, push, push the tray straight down. Be sure not to load it down because uh, the uh, lithium pad will be isolated and the impression materials on the lithium pad region will become very thin. And finally, uh, the lithium pad would be, de would be deformed when pouring plaster. So uh, very full, so natural the impression with natural shape along the lithium pad region. Next, what we are going to do is to measure the temporary vertical dimension uh, using a phonetic method or a freeway space or make the M sound uh, and the finally uh, blow air method. Centric tray uh, by the record is a single step double arch impression technique, but it's very difficult for everyone. So, uh, the two-stage impression technique is highly recommended to you. So first, lower uh, impression should be your impression is taken. And after that, upper impression will be taken. And be sure, please ask the patient to swallow, swallow. Oh, sorry. Uh, ask the patient to close together, close together until the previous made measurement. And finally, ask the patient to swallow so that the mandibular jaw uh, moves near the centric. These are um, two models and uh, um, bite, bite block. And the models are mounted thanks to uh, this uh, beautiful bite block. And fortunately, she had an anterior open bite, very severe case because uh, upper and lower denture are shifting up and forward even after dentures are issued and a class three, class three. So um, let's move on to the some tray design. Um, please give the seven measures to enhance the denture ceiling uh, levels of uh, uniform. Uh, yeah, so sorry, uh, seven measures should be provided to the custom tray to enhance the denture ceiling. First, the tumoral pad should be covered with the denture base thinly and avoid the sinistering. Um, and the uh, back concavity should be created at the back of shelf region. And the uh, uh, bite limb, so bite limb is uh, look, uh, placed in the mid of uh, lid width. And the concavity is created to maintain the lip support. And uh, a large space should be provided uh, to, to accommodate the tongue space. And finally, the concavity is created at the uh, polished surface of the little mile hard fossil region, uh, where the tongue compressed that area to complete the compensatory closure. And the tray design is always uniform, but it's customized with changing the thickness of the tray border to express patient's individuality. This patient had a tiny, uh, tiny uh, lower ridge, lower ridge so lower ridge form, so uh, the more thickness should be given to the back or shelf region to in increase the ceiling area. And unfortunately, this patient has a lack of sublingual spongy tissue, so more thickness should be given to the 
our troubling region so that uh, we will get uh, we will get a sufficient ceiling area um, and find in, in, uh, as a result um, we will get an abstraction so uh, what we are going to do first in the clinical loom surgical loom we needed to check for the parallelism of the custom tray. This is a cruiser plane and that is made from Japan. And we can observe uh, midline, horizontal line and the compass line. So he, she had a class three, so take a look at. This is a compass line, but uh, uh, the cruiser plane is tilted down so because in class three. Next, uh, we may not be aware that uh, there is a large space under the denture base, dent tray base, uh, be, uh, even though the upper and lower bite limbs uh, seem to meet evenly because a uh, centric tray bite is uh, just a temporary bite record, but not a precise bite record. In order to check if the uh, uh, tray bite error, by bite restoration error, uh, wax is placed on the four points, uh, canines and uh, uh, morals. And I press it back to the mouth and ask the patient to uh, close down. And please check if the uh, space is even or uneven. So you can see the even space. So, uh, so we will re remove the wax. We don't change the, because we don't change the vertical dimension. And if you find the uneven space, uh, you will initiate the next step, precision impression with wax, with wax. And uh, you can see a huge amount of in, in uneven space uh, between upper and lower plates, uh, unfortunately. So nasomerem should be reset. So uh, maxillary flabby tissue refers to a mobile tissue, mobile, a mobile tissue most commonly seen in the anterior part of the maxilla. Uh, that, uh, and uh, in a case with maxillary flabby tissue, the denture uh, made with a standard impression technique would be dislodged up and forward and fall due to and, uh, uh, its mussy and uh, soft tissue that is accumulated, stipulated, that, that is stipulated by the uh, excessive pressure stimuli from the anterior teeth or anterior chewing. So in the past, two solutions for flavor leaches has been introduced, non-pressure impression technique and the surgical removal. I'd like to show you a non-pressure impression technique shortly, quickly. Uh, border molding has been carried out and the final precision impression has been carried out. And the uh, impression material uh, is removed on the uh, uh, flabby tissue region and the impression is placed back to the mouth and the impression material is placed from the outside of the mouth. So this is a, a non-pressure impression technique. And another method is a surgical removal. Uh, the dental surgeon removed the uh, fra inflamed flabby tissue surgically. But let me pose a question. Can it really eliminate its root cause? What is the root cause of flabby tissue generation, generate of the flabby tissue? So here I'd like to show you treatment process of inflamed flabby tissue. The cause of flabby tissue is of course, overstimulation from the anterior chewing. The purpose of the flabby tissue, purpose of the uh, flabby tissue impress, uh, flabby tissue. So to reduce the anterior chewing instead and the posterior chewing should be established. So unique impression technique is required. And even after dentures are issued, three requirements are mandatory to maintain the maxillary denture stability. So uh, finally, uh, pay, uh, the inflammation will gradually resolve and the flabby tissue will be normalized 
So this is my uh, Flabby impression technique, optional Flabby impression technique. First, heavy bodied impression is applied here. that pop the tra train and first apply pressure vertically and the next push the tray backward to bounce back with the flabby tissue like this oh sorry sorry <laughs> okay press it back and the first apply pressure vertically and the next push the flabby tissue bounce back. Like this. So if the flabby tissue, inflamed flabby tissue persists, the inflammation will progress further and the condition will deteriorate. Then the impression material on the flabby tissue, only on, flabby, on the flabby tissue is removed. Make the space on the top of the flabby tissue. And of course, influential material, material on the frenum is removed. So we need to denture border thickness so that uh, a denture will be retained by the orbicular cirrhosis and uh, retained in the denture is support, will be supported by the orbicular resource and are retained uh, by the, uh, uh, um, no, no, retained, sorry. Uh, denture uh, is, will be support, is supported by the nasal spine and the uh, denture is support, uh, obtain, denture is detained uh, by the orbicular resource muscle. Next, border molding. One thick layer of impression material is applied. Entire denture border. And a dental technician has already uh, blocked out with wax on, at the uh, uh, flabby tissue region. So denture is resifting up when taking impression. So this is a, a dot. So as a stopper to prevent the then prevent the tray from sifting up and forward. Okay, apply pressure and uh, apply pressure with vibration and I push it back and I pull the cheek down. And ask the patient to move her jaw side to side to prevent the uh, hitting, prevent the coronal process from hitting. And a lower tray and ask the patient ooh, e, ooh, e, to capture the labial and the buccal movement of the maxilla. Okay, and the stretch the upper ribs by herself. Okay, close, close together. Okay, next. So as you can see, sufficient thickness of denture border can be seen at the labial region. And the impression material on the uh, crest, this crest should be removed because it's a immobile tissue. We will make the space and the, so that uh, uh, so all of the denture border sinks down uh, to the next step. Okay, remove the uh, stopper. And the sore spots to be uh, grinded off. Okay, this is the final impression of the upper denture. Light body impression is applied. And apply pressure vertically and push it back slightly. And pull the cheek down and lip down and ask the patient to move her jaw side to side. And the lower tray is inserted into the mouth and the close down and oo, e, oo, e. Two movements. Now if you like a kiss motion, uh, please ask the patient to slight kiss, slight kiss, okay? 
This is a, a final upper impression. So as you can see, the sufficient thick denture border can be seen at the anterior region. Very important to reduce the denture mobility in a case with maxillary flabby tissue. So in order to control the inflammation in flabby lipids, three requirements are essential. First, here, uh, maintain the uh, sufficient amount of anterior clearance should be maintained to reduce the anterior chewing, anterior stimuli. And next, space is created on the top of the flabby tissue. And the finally, please maintain the posterior occlusion. So that uh, um, inflammation will gradually dissolve and the flabby tissue will be shrunk and uh, uh, the tissue will, normalize, will be normalized. This is another case, I'm sorry, and, but uh, it's a very important case. Uh, this is a comparison with the initial visit and uh, three years after treatment. So inflammatory flabby tissue was observed, was observed, but after three years, no inflammation. So every four months, regular checkup is very important. And we always adjust our cruiser surface and uh, as maintain the anterior, two millimeter anterior space. Okay, let's move on to the mandibular precision impression. So she had a problem with a, a sublingual respondy tissue and the class three. So I'd like to highlight the um, optional impression technique first. And also you will learn, will be able to learn and this the impression technique will be, the impression technique is patient-centered impression technique, but not the operator, the manipulated impression technique. And also it's carried out uh, closed, closed mouth impression technique. It's closed, uh, carried out with closed mouth impression technique. Okay. If a patient has a strong tongue retraction or so lack of a sublingual spongy tissue, the space is created behind the uh, lingual denture border. In order to fulfill that space, the silicone party is highly recommended to you. So apply the denture adhesive at the lingual uh, denture border, tray border, make it flat like a sausage, and press it to the uh, sublingual denture border. So from deflection point to deflection point of s curve, and I press it. And after confirmation of the tray position, operator push the impression materials to fill, fulfill that space and ask the patient to swallow. Be sure not to ask the patient, move your tongue forward and stick out the tongue and move it forward, uh, move the tongue forward and uh, side to side. Only swallow, only swallow. And ask the patient to open and the operator hold the family to lay down and uh, freeze wait for seconds. Um, it's very difficult to swallow with a saliva so dental hide needs pour some water by the pipette. So the surface of the impression material should be shaved off and the uh, impression material in, on the interior side of the tray must be removed uh, to avoid the overpressure, over impression pressure for the next impression. So let's move on to the five basic movements. I spent five years to determine five basic movements, U, E, I move with the tongue across the upper lip and push the back side over the anterior bite rims with the tongue and finally swallow. So th this is a reason for a uh, suction denture, con suction denture impression is doable for everyone. Patient centered impression technique and closed mouth impression technique. Do you remember compound impression technique? Open the mouth impression technique and also um, uh, how much of the uh, compound material should be softened. It's very difficult for everyone. 
and how pull the strongly uh, pull the oper should the operator pull the buccal mucosa or uh, labial mucosa. So it, I think it must it must be technically sensitive. So suction impression is a patient-centered impression technique. And the heavy body impression materials are applied entire denture border and they place it back to the mouth. In a case with difficulty, please confirm the tray position. So tray position is always in the correct position and they apply pressure for seven seconds and they close together and they pull the lollipop up because the mentalist muscle is very weak muscle, weak muscle. So operators should pull the lower, lower so lip up and ooh, ee, ooh, ee hold the tray down and the stick uh, side, move the tongue side to side and stick out the tongue and lock the chin and the patient push the back side of the limbs with her tongue. Then lingual floor swells up, it becomes stiff to capture the sublingual floor movement and finally swallow. It's a comprehensive movement. Ask the patient to do it uh, maybe so two or three times. Um, of course, uh, depending on the uh, so impression working time. A good section. Okay, so impression materials on the crest and excess impression materials on the frenum and the sinew string should be removed prior to the final precision impression. Please remove the impression materials on the crest to make the space on the top of the ridge so that the denture border, all over the denture border sinks down when taking impression with even pressure. Occlusal plane is very important. Occlusal plane of custom tray is very important. The impression materials uh, on the freedom is removed as well. Light body impression material is spread out, uh, labial part and the uh, lingual part, and uh, uh, yeah, back our shelf reach evenly. So impression will be taken in the same manner. Place it back and the confirmation of the tray position, not to catch the cheek, and apply pressure firmly down for seven seconds. and close down and pull the lower lip up to capture labial movement. Concavity is created at the uh, uh, mental spurt. Ooh, ee, ooh, ee, but to capture the lingual and the back, um, buccal and the labial movement. Stick out the tongue, so to capture the tongue movement and uh, push back, push the so back, back, back side of the tray. Then uh, we can uh, to take the, uh, to capture the lingual floor movement and the finery swallow. Okay. So I I'd like to check if this action and action. No sound, but it's okay. Her impression is not yet over because upper and lower tray uh, is sifting up and forward uh, due to the presence of the flabby tissue in the maxilla. So, the posterior upper, the posterior denture border seal would break a little bit. So the monophase impression material applied as a functional post technique. This is a monophase, light heavy body impression material. One layer of monophase impression material is applied and place it back to the mouth and ask the patient to close together. So you can see the uh, uh, slight thickness of the uh, impression materials, blue impression materials. So it verifies that the denture has sifted up and forward a little bit due to the maxillary flabby tissue. 
Let's move on to the pin tracing. So white plate is removed in, and replaced with the <coughs> striking plate and the stylus of the Nasomera M. This is a Gothic arch. I'd like to show you the Kimura's method. First, ask the patient, tap, tap, tap on her back position, forward, backward, forward, backward, tap, 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 to the left, to the back position, and to the left, to the back position, tap, tap, tap. It leads to, uh, to reset the lateral movement, uh, forward, backward, once again, and finally, to the light, to the back, to the light, to the back, tap, tap, tap. So remove the upper denture to, to check if a figure is great, beautiful or not. Oh, very beautiful, gothic arch. And the next, ask the patient, uh, tip, tap, tap, tap um, on her relaxed position. So as you can see, uh, the uh, tapping point is approximately, uh, is located approximately 0 0.5 millimeter from the apex point. It shows that uh, only 13% of the injured patient have correspondation uh, with the uh, uh, tapping point and the apex point. And uh, after check the so byte record, uh, this is a silicone party uh, because of one pin affect the denture stability. So this is a stabilization. So a silicone party is placed on the on both side equally. And finally, so um, by the restoration, uh, silicone is applied and fix the upper and it fix the upper and lower tray. And below the midline, if you need a high, hyper lip line and the uh, corner of the mouth. So these are final impressions. And so sufficient thick denture border can be seen. So the uh, denture will be supported by the nasal spine and uh, retained by the orbicular source muscle and the lower. So sufficient thickness of denture border can be seen at the little mild hydrosphosa region uh, to, uh, to enhance or to increase the ceiling area at the sublingual region. And so a buckle shape of denture border is very, very nice. It's low, uh, that was rolled up to enhance the ceiling or support, enhance the support area. And the thinness can be seen at the little mile hard for the region, not to disturb the tongue movement. And finally, com compensatory will be, compensatory closure will be clo uh, completed. So, the purpose of boxing is um, very so important. So the uh, fiber million, so sorry. Um, so the peripheral border is contained of mo uh, so many information for suction is contained at uh, about five millimeter, millimeter from the peripheral border. So. Boxing is very important to reproduce the denture border, accurate denture border with uh, accurate denture border with uh, in two resin material. Okay, so this patient uh, was very tricky. So because uh, she had a class three, but uh, she requested a class one look configuration. And uh, finally, um, take a look at the incisor, ins center incisor is located uh, at 14 millimeter from the incisive papilla. And uh, uh, canines are placed at 16 millimeters from the tip of the first lugai. So very difficult case. So 
actually dental, uh, dental technician um, fabricate uh, wax denture and arrange wax denture three times to satisfy, uh, to satisfy patient with our wax denture. Very difficult. She looks like very beautiful, like a class one look. This is the eyeball based injector. So uh, it's a fully automated all in one system, easier to operate than the uh, previous eyeball cup resin. I love this. Yeah. Okay. And she requested us more aesthetic, more aesthetic beauty. So uh, gingival characterization uh, has been carried out uh, with SL neck score. So beautiful. So um, I'm very happy because a patient um, accept my so demand, um, and uh, um, I've. I manufactured uh, digital dentures from the same page, from the same patient. First, custom trays are designed and uh, uh, milled. Uh, this is a UTS CAD that is most important to determine the uh, occlusal plane. That is similar to the face wall. Hmm. And the uh, uh, undercast and the uh, uh, bony projection uh, should be blocked out with wax. And tray design is uh, always uniform in the mandible. You got rest of the feather, it's uh, an alone uh, process or a digital process. These are completed uh, custom trays. So three shape designer design soft and uh, add on Ivoclavi, but then to professional software. But this space uh, for uh, Nasometer CAD. So uh, the even digital, digital uh, custom tray, seven, seven ideas should be given to the custom tray. And this patient has a tiny uh, posterior ridge, con ridge form. So the sufficient thickness of the denture border uh, should be given to the uh, back or shelf region. And uh, uh, she, had a lack, uh, she had a lack of sublingual spongy tissue. So more thickness should be given to the sublingual region to increase the ceiling area. And the tray, custom trays are milled by PM7. These are impressions. Uh, please compare comparison between a digital work, workflow and analog workflow. Almost same, I think. And a pin tracing. So the same figure, even though it's a Nasometer CAD, uh, not, no, regardless of whether it's a Nasometer CAD or Nasometer M. So I firmly believe that the same clinical performance should be carried out even with digital or analog. Suction effective impressions and the definitive vital liquids are essential. So up and the lower impressions are scanned. So please make sure five millimeter of peripheral border should be uh, replaced with a resin material into resin material. So here, take a look at so sufficient denture border should be replaced with the uh, impression denture border should be replaced with the resin material. But we had a bad experience, negative experience. So my friend uh, placed a place a order, placed a order for digital denture to United, US um, American American uh, digital denture company. So, but uh, we uh, we are very shocked we received unexpected dentures that were quite a difference in shape from the, impress, from the original impression we have sent. Take a look at. 
signature border can be seen, but final denture. Oh my gosh. And on the lower, so a thick denture border can be seen, but very thin, different denture. So this is what, because the uh, manufacturers of that company scanned only interior side of the denture base without denture border and the polished surface. I insisted that five millimeter of, from the peripheral border is most important to achieve mandibular suction. So teeth are selected, uh, and I selected a cell of analysis and the lingualized occlusion. And I, I have already stated uh, she was very tricky uh, to um, make it more beautiful um, because this is a, a mono, first monoblock because we, uh, we created, we uh, manufactured two monoblocks. First one, unfortunately, unfortunately so. Her, so first monoblock, uh, her anterior teeth didn't appear. And the second monoblock, second one. So we arranged the teeth position, tooth position, and uh, tooth, not only tooth position and occlusal plane. So I'd like to show you digital workflow for the final digital denture design. This is our seat. And a three shape digital scanner, oh no, three shape digital scanner and the software. So I have already stated the three design, no, 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 final data design is very important. And I've worked out with wax and relief the, relief the so bony projection with wax. And teeth are aligned. Of course, this adventure reduce the working time, uh, level of the working time. But this case is very difficult to manufacture and uh, produce through digital machining. Okay, up and lower teeth are aligned and the so uh, gingiver has been formed. So <laughs> I emphasize that even though the laboratory process will be changed by the digital machining, the clinical process won't I wouldn't change, wouldn't change. So inadequately uh, acquired uh, final impression and in the uh, interoclusal inter uh, vertical record will create ill-fitting and uh, functional dentures. So I manufactured two different types of dentures. Uh, by a SIGA printing machine, a SIGA Max, and about the steel suction, suction. And this is a milling monoblock denture. Even monoblock denture has strong enough suction. So in my small number of experience, uh, milling denture is, so milling suction is superior than the printing denture because as you can see, uh, printing denture. So due to the presence of sprues. This is a final slide. So uh, I want to conclude that um, suction denture, SEMCD concept, and the easy to systematic denture fabrication system, BPS, are incorporated with digital technology the more accurate and well-fitting catacomb denture will be served to the patients in the near future. The digital dentures from Ivo Club equivalent. Upper, I'm gonna pop the lower denture in. Okay. 
And if you have negative pressure sound. Tap, tap, tap. Swallow. Open. Oh, very nice. So thank you for listening, and I'm very satisfied uh, with my so lecture and in the uh, webinar. Uh, but uh, I hope uh, you will find my presentation to be informative, impressive, and uh, worth learning. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Dr. Abi. It was again another excellent presentation, full of amazing information, um, and I am sure, judging by the comments that it has been very well received and everyone has enjoyed it very much. Um, there are, again, hundreds of people from around the world, Australia, Taiwan, everywhere, watching and seeing how much they are enjoying it. So thank you once again. I yeah, really introduce the instructors and the distributors of Frame Catwalk Tray, please. Yes, what I'll do, I'll do that on, um, I'm going to make a, a, a presentation for that. I'll post that tomorrow. Okay. Um, what I would like to, to ask you, Dr. Arbia, is how do you keep your enthusiasm? Because you always are um, asking the questions and, and challenging what people think and in, in making new discoveries. How do you keep up your enthusiasm? I think uh, when I was young, so after graduation of the dental school, I decided to work for patients for the beneficial advantage of dentists patients around the world. Uh, I, I, I continue that mind so from uh, since in since 1987. Mm. Yeah. yeah and you, still enthusiastic. And you, <laughs> you do not stop. You just keep going. It's amazing. But I'm getting, I'm getting old. So next, uh, <laughs> 60, near 65. So yeah. I pass my baton to East Lactors, world East Lactors in the near future. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. And just, just like to say to everybody, Dr. Abi has given up his time here very graciously uh, at the end of each day he's been to work and he's come on to help everybody understand and improve their denture techniques. Um, it, it's a great uh, pleasure for me to watch as I'm sure it is for everyone. And I thank you for giving up your time um, to, to deliver this. Um, mm -hmm. we, we are going to do some future things for everybody watching. We're going to um, have a, a, a SEMCD instructors uh, webinar where we are going to go through all of the questions which have been posted on all of the different groups. And we are going to get the instructors together to do a webinar. And everybody watching, if you have questions or you want to know more, we can answer them and we'll also explain where you can get your SEMCD training from qualified instructors all around the world. We have them in Taiwan, China, Korea, UK, Australia, everywhere. So you can get the correct instruction. All instructors have been trained directly from Dr. Arbe, so you'll get it uh, taught correctly. So. It's late over there. Are you going to have your evening meal now? <laughs> yes, from now on, <laughs> with <Okay>. my wife. <laughs> okay. well, yeah, thank you for your you. kindness and the efforts yeah, yeah. to invite me to this beautiful webinar. Thank it's you been, so much. It's been amazing. Thank you so much for doing them, Dr. Ravi. Everyone, take care of your health. Yeah, bye. Okay. okay. Bye, bye, bye.